Hey guys, it's Dave from Computing Forever, and I'm standing in for Mr. Bruce Frugal Tech Nailer today, where we are having a little collaborative debate on which is better, a conventional tower-based desktop PC with an external monitor, the old school computer's normal desktop PC like this one, or an all-in-one desktop machine like the one that's behind me. I'm not specifically citing an iMac here, of course, which is my primary machine. It could be any type of all-in-one from Acer or Lenovo or, or Toshiba or whoever. The primary selling point, of course, of a conventional tower-based desktop machine is the fact that it can be heavily upgraded. So that is something that, you know, it's going to make this debate a little bit more difficult for me, I think. So Bruce is going to have his answer to this, whereas he, he's debating basically that the, the tower-based desktop machine is far better than these guys. And that's going to be over on my channel, so check out the link below in the description. But I have nevertheless come up with five reasons why I think all-in-one desktop machines are at least worth a look, and they do stack up reasonably well. Although you are paying for um, kind of a premium quality machine, you're paying for something that's physically more difficult to put together, and so it is more expensive. And that's just an unfortunate thing. If you're a hardcore computer user, you're probably going to build your own machine anyway. This isn't going to really interest you because you're basically going to build a machine for a very reasonable price and get a hell of a lot of bang for the buck. These guys don't offer that. But I wanted a Mac for video editing. That's the reason I'm a Mac user. But I do recognize the fact that there's a lot more advantages with a uh, Windows-based conventional desktop PC. Nevertheless, here's my five reasons why you could potentially go an alternative route. Number five. All-in-ones offer space-saving potential, and that is very significant. You've got a lot less cable mess, and cable mess is just such a pain in the ass. You've got a lot more cables to deal with when you have a tower on your desk. And of course, uh, that leads me directly into number four, which is they take up much less space. Because you don't have something like on the desk or on the floor, or whatever, where you have you know, the desktop machine on the floor, and then you have the screen on the table. So these are minor things, but they do make a difference in my opinion, and I much prefer having everything just on the desk with me. Uh, I think as well, they're mu because that means you've got a much less cluttered desk, I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse, I feel more productive as well, and I am more productive. I'm not a particularly messy person, but I wouldn't be usually keeping everything super clean either, and there's a lot less clutter on the desk, and generally people's productivity workplace studies have proven is much better when there's less crap in front of them. So anyway, move on to number three. They are easier to carry around. This is kind of a minor point, uh, <laughs> but it's true. You know, I just basically am picking up a display when I move this thing around. Whereas uh, to move a tower-based desktop machine, there's a lot of things to unplug, and then I have to move the display, and move the tower, and obviously they vary in size as well. I could throw in here as well aesthetics, not really a big deal, but all-in-ones tend to be a little bit easier on the eye, but there you are. Moving on to number two, they make for great makeshift entertainment media center machines. This is a point that sometimes people overlook. Uh, some of these all-in-one manufacturers allow you to unmount the display from the stand, the machine will actually physically move away. So you can actually mount it onto a wall bracket. Uh, alternatively, uh, you could, as people have, use these in bedrooms or even, even living rooms. It's not a bad solution. Obviously, you can watch TV online or you can buy a TV tuner or, you know, you can have your Netflix and you've got web surfing from the couch. I mean, it's, it's not a bad way to go. And finally, number one, touchscreen options. In general, not every all-in-one offers touchscreen capability, but many of them on the Windows side do. Apple have not embraced that within OS X at the present time. Uh, but if you are going down an all-in-one route for the Windows side, there are plenty of machines that allow you to have uh, touchscreen options. And of course, they, they are generally used all-in-ones in fields such as video editing, such as graphic design, in, in the arts, in post-production where people want that kind of tablet experience, they want to be able to physically draw on the screen, perhaps with a stylus or something like that. And so they certainly offer some functionality that I think is missing from a tower-based desktop machine. But I look forward to seeing Bruce's response because <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't one I'm going to win. <laughs> it's, it's difficult to argue from this perspective, but I'm interested in your thoughts in the comments below. Please let me know what you think of this. Be sure to hit that like button and of course, subscribe to The Frugal Tech and you can check out my channel in the description below. See you next time, bye-bye.